Top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market prep video for Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. So yesterday was pretty interesting day. It was the market would seem to be floundering just a little bit it, it was struggling trying to find some inspiration and a lot of uncertainty out there that was continuing to swirl around but overall the bulls did a really good job of defending the lows we had that gap down this morning uh, yesterday morning in the dow and the bulls decided to defend and push that back up now it was light and choppy price action to move us back up but they certainly ended up getting the job done at the end of the day holding on to this little price support in the chart now this morning we've got the bulls pushing higher this morning even though it's kind of interesting that asian markets were basically flat last night european markets are basically flat this morning but the bulls have have an agenda here they they are relentless um, in their pursuit of trying to break to new highs and they're pushing this morning for a gap up open um, as i speak right now we are pushing very close to a 100 point gap open even though really nothing has changed overall in the market now we do have some earnings today trying to help inspire um, that may help inspire the markets a little bit and some economic data data we'll talk about that in just a second but really there uh, we still don't have any resolution to uh, uh, the major issues out there uh, like trade and those kind of things or remember uh, uh, trade talks resume in a couple of weeks and we have an increase in tariffs on the 15th of next month um, on the way so unless something changes and right now that's where things Things are scheduled so pretty interesting chart set up here overall where we've attacked and attacked and attacked these all-time highs and just have not been able to get through them and we have this high and a lower high uh, coming into play here in the market so this rally back up is going to be really really critical can we actually break through and make a new high in this move and right now we're we're rallying up to this price resistance area and you can see there's a zone right in here of price resistance that may be a little bit difficult to breach we'll have to watch that pretty closely if we can break through that big heavy line of potential resistance and hold up here then we may be okay for that attack um, to the upside um, yet to be seen uh, perhaps there may be enough inspiration today to make that happen perhaps those bulls will be strong enough to push through that area and also perhaps maybe the the bears have weakened enough that they're not going to defend this area as as um, strongly as they have um, in the past so that's where we are now if we were to happen to fail and that's one of the things we always have to be thinking about when we attack the, the highs and it's really easy as a trader to get caught up in the emotion of the day oh my gosh we're gapping up nearly 100 points i'm missing out i have to chase in well just keep in mind guys that when you chase in that's when you run into things like this where we gap up in the day and get selling the rest of the day gap up into a morning and get selling the rest of the day those are the kind of things we have to be careful of and particularly around resistance levels and all-time highs in the market a gap up open like this could slam directly into this resistance and we could end up finding um, the you know bears up here to push us right back down and that would be um could be devastating to the market with a third lower high um whoops a third lower high here in the chart i'm not trying to predict that's going to occur i'm just trying to caution on the idea that we must be careful when we gap straight into substantial resistance in the market let's take a look at the spy spy very similar situation 
and we have that big round number of 300 up here that we're trying to gap up to so far we have not been able to breach that this morning we're pushing up there but once again we have that big round 300 number serving as resistance um, obviously we've sliced through that before but we've failed to hold it and we've failed to hold it in an ugly way with a double top high up here double wicks trying to break out unable to do so so now if we pop up here into this resistance we need to see that bullish follow through to actually push us through to hold us up there and start building some confidence for that all-time high attack but if we once again if we were to pop up here and run straight into bears um, that could be an ugly situation for that pop and drop type pattern not again not predicting that but just cautioning that that is a possibility here that we have to be aware of so be careful how you trade this morning and, and be careful not to get caught up in the oh my gosh i'm missing out um, mood that everything is everything is copacetic and completely bullish because we've seen that defense up here before and there's no reason to believe they won't be up the bears won't be up here to defend it again unless we get something new in the market and right now you know we still have all the uncertainty on trade um, any news event any tweet could uh, certainly change everything either bullish or bearish but for right now we just have to be very cautious as we approach those levels now the cues the cues here have a more of a dim picture i think um, to be dealing with first off we we never made the breakout here in the queues and we have those uh issues going on with um, federal government investigating some of the big techs and we have um comp new competition really affecting some of the old big um, uh, market leaders like netflix um with all the new streaming out there, Netflix um, losing substantial value. Um, this was one of those market leaders, and that's certainly affecting the Q's index as that continues to sell off amid all the new competition out there for them. So if we take a look at the Q's here, um, trying to bounce back up, we are trying to get back above this little level of resistance in here this morning we're looking to gap above that that is a good sign and what's also a good sign is that we have held or we appear to have held at least at this point the 50-day moving average that is that is bullish holding that 50-day moving average now the question is can we actually break high enough do we have enough momentum and enough energy in the market to actually break us above that downtrend so keep that in mind as we push up here we have to worry about that potential that we find that resistance up in here and make that third low or high that could really um, uh, could really be a technical problem for the market. So let's watch that closely as those bulls just relentlessly push to try and break through those all time highs. Q's not not really in a great position here for that attack. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, interestingly enough, is actually in a pretty good position. Let me remove um, all of these lines I've got drawn up here. Um, actually in a pretty good position to make an attack uh, to move higher. So first off, it's broken its downtrend, and now we've pulled back to test that downtrend as support. If those buyers can step up in here and hold this support level, we actually have a pretty good case for potential upside here in IWM, those small caps trying to come back around. Let's watch that closely and see if they can actually get that done. Be pretty interesting um, setup if that were the case in IWM and maybe IWM taking on more of a bullish role that um, that they haven't had for nearly a year here in the market lagging behind all the other indexes let's take a look at the vix the vix has been one of those kind of perplexing situations here with all of this uncertainty the market has been showing virtually no fear and we have this downtrend here in this chart we also have resistance levels in this chart to think about that have held 
This price is resistance. We've got a little support right through here. You can see that it's held up as support in the chart along with this downtrend area. But we're kind of bouncing around in this zone here trying to figure out are we going to be full on bullish is the fear going to drop out of this market completely or are we going to perk back up in here this morning's gap up open will likely drive that fear index down so we'll want to keep an eye on that if we start breaking down through these um, support levels in the chart then we could see um, that market continue to grow and gain and I got to tell you, to me, ahead of with with trade negotiations the way they are and everything, I see a little bit of complacency in this chart where the market is just not fearful enough. We just we don't have any fear um, out there of the potential um swings that the market could could have uh, just on any news event but that's okay that just because i have some um some angst about that doesn't mean the rest of the market has to have some angst about that and i'm watching that pretty closely and we should keep a pretty close eye on the vix to watch and see if that fear comes around and how that might uh, play out here um, overall let's take a look at uh, t21 22 T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we've opened up an opportunity after that pullback that we've had here in the market, pretty light pullback overall. We have opened up an, an opportunity here for us to move higher. And obviously this gap up open this morning is gonna drive us up, back up toward this uh, bearish reversal zone. But we have room now to move up. So let's see if we can drive on through to that upside um, in the market. Now, if we happen to run into that resistance that I talked about that could be the possibility on this gap up, we gap up hit resistance, see only sellers, just keep in mind we have a pretty big open space down here where we can move lower so don't ignore that in case those bears start coming in if if the bears give it up and, and the bulls really push through and and break through those resistance levels we could have that upside move here that looks um, like we've got plenty of room uh, at least for the next day or two uh, to the upside let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar has a couple things on it that could help or hinder the market we have s p um, core logic um, coming out here at nine o'clock uh, a.m we have um, obviously red book and things like that but they're not expected to move the market um, really at all that housing price index probably won't do much to move the market at all and then we have probably the the bigger number today is that consumer confidence number and we'll want to keep an eye on the that at 10 a.m um, manufacturing index redmond fed um, don't expect that to move the market and of course bond auctions um, so not much there. In fact, the bigger the bigger report, uh, uh, most more important report will be tomorrow. The new home sales number that could really move things around, and then GDP and international trade next week uh, on Thursday. So um, watch those things, but they do have uh, the ability to move the market around, particularly if they happen to surprise. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. On our earnings calendar, we had about 28 companies reporting earnings today. They're coming in really quickly um, this morning. Uh, uh, and so let's take a look. Um, so far this morning, we have had KMX, KMX report, and KMX is reporting um, good, moving up this morning. That could be one of those inspiration points for the market, trying to move us higher. We have um, Nike that will report after the bell today, and we can even see Nike trying to gap up this morning on news ahead of that earnings report. Uh, be careful about chasing that one this morning. Morning. Um, but trying to gap up this morning on an anticipation of those earnings. NIO, NIO reporting this morning, and you can see it is gapped lower. It went the other direction here, um, looking pretty um, ugly. Um, Blackberry reporting this morning, and that's gapping lower. As you can see this morning, we have AZO reporting this morning, and it looks like AZO 
may have slightly disappointed the market. Um, if that is already reported, I'm not 100% sure that it is reported, but maybe has slightly disappointed the market um, on that move. Um, and CTAS, CTAS also reporting this morning, can't see that that report has already occurred. So quite a few reports this morning that have, you know, some notability to them that could move the market around. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that little bell icon when it pops up to make sure that you're notified every time I post a video. You know, these videos are not meant to predict anything. Um, I try to avoid the hype. I try to look at the technicals of the chart and and help um, help everyone focus on the key elements that um, may help them decide how to approach the day, how to plan their day. I can tell you that has been extremely helpful to me in my 14 years as a full-time trader. Doing this preparation work helps ground me and, and prevent me from trading emotionally, chasing into a market that could provide quite a little bit of hidden danger. And so if you guys find these helpful, please do me a favor also and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Any comment will do, any, any brief comment, even a thumbs up counts and it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks and helps us grow the channel. Thank you to those who take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. I have been really, really busy yesterday, so I didn't even get a chance to answer a lot of those messages, but I truly am grateful for you guys um, uh, for leaving those uh, messages, and I will uh, always try to go back and answer as many as I can. You guys take... Um, are the are awesome and i truly truly appreciate it and part of that appreciation is every day i try to provide some trade ideas that you can put into a watch list and uh, watch for your evaluation and i'm gonna we'll do that right now and i want to make sure that um you understand that these are not any kind of a recommendation to buy or sell any security. If you look at these charts and find them to be useful and evaluate them, great, well done. Um, and and if uh, at the same time, if you find these charts just aren't for you, um, that's okay as well. But um, it's part of what we do is doing that really close evaluation of that price action and how those charts are forming up and shaping up. So. We with that, let's jump in. I want to take a look at John Deere here this morning. John Deere had a really nice bullish move yesterday, has been consolidating. And what I want to point out here is it's coming into uh, about to engage with this its trend here. Now, clearly we have resistance uh, above in this chart, but John Deere is trying to show some bullishness here and trying to push on through into that resistance. So I would be watching John Deere, as a matter of fact, placing a price alert right across here makes a lot of sense to me for that opportunity for that to push on higher. If you guys remember, um, I've been mentioning this chart in the past and, and um, watching this chart in the past, and um, it kind of failed. It failed my support level right in here and, and drifted lower. But look what happened yesterday, a big comeback yesterday. So I think a price alert maybe right in through here might be a wise thing to do watching this PBYI. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern where we break above that 50 day moving average after a long, long downtrend, oversold downtrend. And this is trying to hold up it in here and trying to pop. You can see right here, I have a price alert. And if that were to pop on through, there is plenty of upside room in here for this to make some money. So keep an eye on PBYI, really nice, really nice move yesterday um, in that chart uh, moving up strongly take a look at ct ctxs ctxs showing us that nice little bullish consolidation after a nice run up and notice that we've broken right here 
um, into this gap. We're trying at least to break into this gap. We have this nice gap above and this consolidating move moving us over toward trend, I think is worthy of us keeping an eye on and that possible gap up or, or lift up into here to fill this gap. And up to 100 seems pretty logical. It's one of those nice round uh, numbers that markets like to gravitate to. So that's a nice potential move, particularly with, with an option trade. Might want to keep an eye on on CTXS. Campbell Soup continues to hold up really, really well. And even though it pulled back a little bit yesterday, Campbell's has been holding up in this nice little trend and looking good. Um, RWO, we made uh, considerable profit on this um, last week and we're watching this um, uh, move on up here. So we're waiting to see if this can follow through to that upside. But Campbell Soup looking pretty good. Another one, uh, yesterday there was a considerable effort for um, to put push up um, retail stocks. Now, obviously, Target, one of those stocks, tried to push up um, yesterday and then found a little bit of resistance pulling back by the end of the day. But I want you to notice that this morning, uh, Target is looking to gap up here. So a little bit of follow through from yesterday's bullish move. Some of those retail stocks are starting to show some signs of bullishness and that attempt to maybe break through that resistance up here um, in this chart. Um, keep an eye on that. Another one that looked really good yesterday is um, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree making that nice move up yesterday, breaking through resistance here in this chart, so showing some strength as it's trying to push on through. You might want to keep an eye on that Dollar Tree holding in this nice trend up here um, and, and holding up quite well, trying to push on through. Now, don't be too surprised, even though we're pushing up here, if we have to consolidate just a little bit more to come over to trend before it really takes off. But Dollar Tree is one of those charts that I would certainly want to be putting some evaluation time into watching it pretty closely um, for those potential moves up. Um, TTWO, TTWO. Um, this had a ugly failure pattern yesterday. Now it's going to be interesting to watch this because we had this double top high here and now a lower high. This actually could be setting itself up short. Um, pretty ugly pattern in here. If you're looking for a short trade, it might be a place to look, might be something to watch for if this continues to fail on down. Another way to watch for this is if on this big ugly failure here, if this gets any bounce back that produces a higher low, that may be the opportunity to short TTWO. Not looking very good here in that pattern overall. Something to be just a little bit concerned about. I wouldn't run for the border on it thinking that everything's falling apart, but it is a bit of a concern. Take a look at FIT. Um, you guys know I mentioned this last week. FIT moving on up, slamming into some price resistance here all in one move. I would watch for a rest or a pullback now on FIT to see if that can set up another opportunity to move higher. But FIT, um, certainly big move here overall. Take a look at WW. Weight Watchers continuing to look good, following up in this trend, breaking through. Yesterday had very little impact on the selling that came into the market early on and holding up very, very well. I think we should watch this for this little rest and consolidation see if that can move on higher. So with that, everyone, there's a few charts for you to take a look at and pay attention to. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if you're struggling out there, just never give up on yourself. Never give up on that dream of, of trading because if, believe me, if it can happen for me, it can happen for you. I want to wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.